Hey, what's up you guys? It is Tyler, and here's what we have going on today. <laughs> I'm showing you how to make a very delicious turkey burger. And I have to bend down like this because I have a cabinet right here. So this is how I make my turkey burgers. Doesn't really smell like anything. Um, one thing about turkey burgers is that they're great for contacting spirits. If you want to be like a conduit for some communication to the afterlife, you can cook up a turkey burger. Ghosts love turkey burgers. They'll come, have a bite, hang out with you. So that's what we're gonna do today. Also, a nice lean lunch option. So, you know, whatever, whatever you're into. So I have just a little chunk of some 97% lean ground turkey. So while my little grill is heating up, I'm going to season up the meat. So the first thing I do is I put on a generous amount of liquid smoke and that turkey will just soak that shit up. And then I add on some smokehouse maple seasoning. Because if there's one thing that ghosts like, it's dried herbs and seasoning. Now, I forgot that I'm going to have to be sticking my hands in raw meat. So I will be getting a rag to wipe them off with. We will return after these short messages. So now I'm just going to massage the turkey. I'm going to get all that flavor soaked up and mixed around. You just want to dig your fingers into the flesh of the fallen. Uh, if you'd like to, you can take some time to thank the dead turkey that provided you with this meat. I personally don't speak turkey. And as you can see, it's really starting to soak up that liquid smoke. And that's what you want. Because that's what makes it taste real good. Now, the chunk that I got is actually a lot larger than I anticipated, so I may just end up making two small burgers. Marination, incantation, da, da, da. It kind of looks like a really nasty no-bake cookie. Hmm. So now we're done with that, I will go ahead and start making the burgers, and it is dripping. So I tried to divide these up as evenly as possible. So I just roll that shit up. Make sure you wash your hands before you do this. You don't want your nasty fucking dirt and skin all in your food, especially if you're cooking for someone else, that's fucking gross. Because imagine some girl that you're into relaying her first date with you to one of her friends and she's like, oh, what'd you guys eat? And, 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 and your date says, all of the bacteria and dirt from his hands. So, you will not be getting a second date with that girl. Unless that's what she's into, you never know. Don't keep shape. So, I think, I didn't even focus my camera. I'm so fucking stupid. Are you kidding me? I forgot to focus my camera, everyone. I'm sorry. Shit fire. You guys, if all of that just looked like shit, I'm gonna feel like a real bozo. So now that I did all of that out of focus, <laughs> okay, I checked in. It wasn't as horribly out of focus as I was expecting it to be. We have our two turkey burgers here ready to go. So let's rev up those fryers. Rev up those fryers. So now we're over here. And my little grill, listen, I know it's dirty, okay? I need to clean it off, I get it. So I'm just gonna spray that down with some Pam, and I'm only doing it on the bottom because I don't push the thing down because it, I don't like how it cooks the burger. So I just, you know, grill them on here and then, and then flip them periodically, so it's fine. Don't worry about it, guys, don't worry, I got it. So now I'm going to move the burgers from the plate, place them onto the grill, and this is where the magic happens, you guys. Uh, <laughs> if I can do it, yeah, there you go. Perfect tins all across the board. Ooh, she thick. Okay. And that one. Easy enough. One, two. Oh, you hear that juicy sizzling sound. That's how you know it's gonna be real good. Calm down, bro. You're flipping out. I don't have anything clever to say for this one. And I can just feel all the spirits fleeting to my apartment right now. You can see that as these cook, there's some smoke coming off. That axe is almost like the opposite of sage. It has the effect on spirits where it attracts them all. So this is like a really healthy alternative to having some sort of seance or ritual to contact the dead. So while I'm letting those burgers finish up cooking, I'm going to begin preparing my buns for the action. So here I have got some light mayonnaise that is past its expiration date. I still got another 20 miles left in this tank. I'm fine. Had to locate a knife. Get some of that on there. Looks about right. You're going for that nice even glaze on there. That is the money shot. 
Next, I have some spinach and kale. Make this look a little less like a fuck show. Beautiful. I believe our burgers are done. So we take this fine ass patty, sticker on there, and another one. Unplug that shit so I don't burn down my house. <laughs> Classic. We'll finish up with the dressings by adding a slice of cheese to each one of these. A little rhyme. Wow, that looks good. <clears throat> Didn't know I could make that noise. Let's do it like that. Make things easier. Oh my god, Rachel fucking Ray in the house, son. Look at that shit. Tati Lee, Tati Lee, Tati Lee. Ooh, brand new bitch. Don't worry, baby, I'll be gentle. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, oh. So here you have it, the final product. We got our two burgers, some low-fat cottage cheese, and the world's most condescending banana. You may notice this sticker that says, great for you on it. This snarky little smartass wants to point out how unaccomplished I am. But guess what, banana? I'm about to turn you into poops. So it is great for me. Potassium ass motherfucker. So here you guys have it. So this is just a smart and healthy alternative to like buying a Ouija board. Whip this shit up and you may soon be visited by the actual devil. As always, thank you guys for watching. Hope you have a great day. And I will talk to you soon. Try to divide this up as easy as I'll just try to try and